is in the Bantamweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner with three wins and one loss, fighting out of Phoenix Combat Academy, Phoenix, Arizona, Suchan Subi Du Kunanen. And her opponent in the red corner with two wins and one loss, fighting out of Jackson's MMA, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Emily Peters Kagan. Our referee in charge of the fight, Jason Trevino. Peters Kagan, the interesting thing about her, she works as a waitress to support herself and her family while she trains and, and tries to further her career as a fighter. So there's the dedication right there. If you're, if you're doing all you can, to, to, uh, to train and to support your family by waitressing, you know that's It's she's like committed. having two full-time jobs with the training and having a full-time job on top of that. But uh, both of these girls making their second appearance here in the Tough Enough Fighting Championships. Excited to get this semifinal match underway. Peters Kagan comes out with a big left. Su Jin immediately grabs that clinch, or excuse me, that Muay Thai plum and starts throwing knees. But these girls are just throwing just throwing left and right. Kunanen in the blue trunks. Kagan in the camouflage black. Something Boy. bad's about to happen. <laughs> Something bad's about to happen. It looks connect. like it. Yeah, Peters Kagan throwing with bad intentions behind those punches. Getting top-notch training, trading with uh, Jackson's MMA down in Albuquerque. Subi Doo doing a very good job using her using her using her uh, her reach advantage, but Peters Kagan trying to close that distance. Throws a nice inside leg kick there. Kagan's nose, a little blood trickling from the nose now. I'd like to see a clinch here. There's too much space. Lana, what did you see with uh, Kunan and her? She was as she was working out, getting ready for this fight in the back. She was making some noises that I would be afraid to hear. In <laughs> very intense, very, very intense. Focused intense, oh. maybe paying off down to the knee. Kunanen, yeah, Kunanen drops Kagan right there. There's a big mouse under the right eye of Peters Kagan. Uh -oh. This could be over. You could mentioned be. it. Something bad's about to happen. Well, Peters Kagan does a good job and gets back up to her feet. Well, I don't know if she wants to be on her feet right now, though. Kunanen seems to be getting the better of the stand-up. We are coming down to the final seconds of this first round. Ten seconds left. Late kick there by Peters Kunanen. Or excuse me, Peters Kagan. Yeah, that's a pretty big, pretty big mouse under her right eye. A purple mouse, nonetheless. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, Lana, what impressed you in that first round? What do you see in that first round? What's the corner right now of Kagan? What are the, what's their corner telling them? Well, I'm a, I already know Julie's over there telling her to do some Muay Thai on her head. Yeah. And over here, I'm thinking I would be t advising her to tie up a clinch because there's too much space and too much sloppiness right now. How, how there, there needs to be some clinch work. Yeah, how do you think that first round went? Who do you, who do you give it to? Definitely Kagan. Kagan? Okay. No, I'm sorry. Kunanen. Kunanen. I, I've yeah. got the K's messed up. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the replay here. All right, so Kunanen really comes in and was the aggressor right from the opening bell. And she dropped Kagan a couple of times in that first round. Yeah, Peters Kagan came out throwing uh, some big punches, but Sujin Kunanen using her reach advantage very effectively there in the first round. And uh, I'm going to agree with you, Lana, that uh, she took the first round in my book as well. Second round, getting ready to get underway here. I see, some, I see some gas issues. If there's not a clinch here, there's going to be something bad. See how their cardio is as we move into the second round now. Still light on her feet is Peters Kagan. Moving around nicely. But like you said, I would like to see a, a clinch. There was a big glade kick. Those hurt. Su Jin Kunanen, very methodical in her pacing coming forward. Throws some big lefts and rights right there. All fight long, just been getting the better of the stand up. Look at the focus by Subi Du. Kunanen. Oh. Goes for a head kick there, just misses. There's just way too much space here. There's going to be an accidental kaboom. Peters Kagan dancing around, not doing much.
Goes with a left and a right and a left. I think you're right. I think this could be a, a cardio issue. Why things are slowing down right now. Why there's this space. Cunanan pushes forward. Leg kick there by Peters Kagan. This is for the winner of this will advance to the finals, which is going to be right back here at the Orleans on September 24th for the 135 pound women's championship. Who will it be? Will it be, a Pe will it be a Peters Kagan or will it be Sujin Kunanen? Another Kunanen. inside leg kick there by Peters Kagan. I was going to say Kunanen very focused, but it seemed like those punches don't have the power behind them that they did in that first round. Ten seconds left in the second round. And not I, much behind these punches. There's, I would like to see a takedown. It's about time. Boy, Kagan tried to come in with a direct left and just missed. I haven't seen this fight go to the ground at all. With two minutes per each round, it's um, I look at it like 30 to 40 seconds for a takedown. Yeah. 30 to 40 for submission is my favorite. When you dance around with these girls, they're throwing so fast and furious, not really pacing themselves too well. You can see this is round two. Yeah. Three now. Go um, taking a look at the replay, some action from the second round right now. There's Kunanen using her reach. Getting through with that jab. Comes over with a big right. Yeah, Peter Skagen's been training for 11 years. She's been training since 1999. Been fighting since 06. Like I said, very happy to see the ladies here on tonight's Tough Enough card. Well, she's got a wonderful corner. Julie Kazzy's a great girl, great fighter. Very inspirational for a lot of people. Big breath there by Peters Kagan right before the third round begins, and we're now underway. We'll see if Kagan here in round number three can Ooh. turn it on a little bit. She stumbles I, I, backward. I don't know if she was, if she got hit with that or if she was just off balance. It was hard to tell from that angle. But Sujin Kunanen still pushing forward, using her reach. Big right there by Kunanen. Kagan doesn't want to disappoint those. 15 sponsors as she tries the takedown. Looked for the takedown there, but pushed her back into the ropes. I think Peters Kagan is going to definitely have to do something here to, uh, if she wants to win this fight, there's about a minute 15 left, and I, I've got her down two rounds. It'll be interesting to see how the judges score this thing. Ooh. Because Kagan's kind of been the aggressor. But it seems like Kunanen's been the smarter fighter. Yeah, Kunanen's just getting the better of the exchanges on the feet, and especially with that big mouse under Peters Kagan's right eye. You know, I think, you know, the judges have to look at that. Just shows the damage that's been done. Yeah, I think Kanan, Kagan here absolutely needs a, a knockout or a submission. It's all her. So she just be let, seconds. Just let, letting Take her down. hands fly like right let now? Let them fly and hope something connects. And she could probably get in there. There it is. Down to the final 30 seconds of this fight. Looking for that inside leg kick right there with Peters Kagan. Wild right there by Kagan. Sujin Kunanen just staying very, very focused. I don't think she's blinked once during this entire fight. <laughs> 10 seconds left. If something's going to happen, they need to make it happen right now. And this one will go to the judges. All right, will it be the 29-year-old, the 24-year-old? Of course, uh, Kunanen is 3-1, and one, looking to improve on that mark. Peters Kagan 2-1 and one, as we wait for the judges' decision here. And the winner of this is advancing to the 135-pound women's final, fighting for the very first women's Tough Enough Championship. Right back here, September 24th. You can watch that live if you're watching it live right now on Go Fight Live TV. And let's go up into the ring. All right, after three rounds, we have a split decision for your winner, Emily Peters Kagan. Anything can happen, apparently. Uh, I don't know. I'm very surprised by that, but uh, 
Well, you can hear the boos from some of the crowd. Of course, the supporters of Peters Kagan pretty excited about that decision. Now she improves to three and one. You know, we mentioned it though. She was the aggressor. She kept coming out. She took a few shots, but I mean, she she pressed the action. She advances yeah. to the finals. I, I'm surprised, but you never you can't let it go to the judges. You know, you got to help. You got to keep the. Uh, you know, make your own fate, as they say. But uh, we will be back here with more action. We've got Brock Pagan taking on Justin the Guitar Hero Janes. Uh, another Team Quest versus Extreme Couture fight, the second one of the night. And uh, we'll be back live from the Orleans Arena, live from the Fight Capital World here in Las Vegas in just a minute.